It looks like it's in pretty good shape. Just slide it out. Can I slide? I can slide it out. There we go. Oh my God, guys. Okay, are we live? I haven't done a live forever. This is crazy. Hey guys, what's up? Nobody's here yet, but I'll keep going. A little story for you. Before we unbox Jeff Bezos, we're going to have a Jeff Bezos unboxing and this is like Christmas for me. I'm gonna take a breath. This will be extremely nostalgic. I'm gonna chill out a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna ramble on for sure. I'm gonna ramble. I need to ramble in uh, 10 minutes or less for syndication purposes, but what's up guys? I'm gonna look at this camera right there. Right there, not that one. This, not that one, this one. Cause I got a couple of cameras going. Of course, gotta have more than one camera. Cheers. Hmm. I haven't done this for a long time, only on webinars. I lost my Facebook account. I'm in the process of getting it back. So hello, YouTube live. How's it going? This is the first, one of the first times I go live on my wealthy trainer, YouTube. So we're going to have like minimum viewers, but that's cool. I like the live vibe. Look. Little story, Jeff Bezos is in here. Let me just get a little nostalgic about this. I, uh, here's where this begins. What, what, how could Jeff Bezos be in here? Let's just be real, I'm gonna be honest guys. I, uh, I've been a Jeff Bezos fanatic for, I'd say since 1995, six. 1996-ish, been a huge Bezos fan. 96 was when, I mean, he was well known, <laughs> Amazon.com. Uh, 97 is when Amazon.com started getting a lot of buzz, like mainstream buzz from what I can, well, no, for sure. Because I had, I was getting everything that had to do with Jeff Bezos back then. And Nobody knew who he was in my world. Amazon was, I learned so many things from Amazon before Amazon is what it is today. It was just a bookstore and they were starting to release different sections like toys. I don't need to go through the story. I had a magazine of Jeff Bezos back. It was a 1999 Wired magazine. And I brought it with me everywhere. It brought me unbelievable luck. Those of you who know me from back in 99, you, you, you would uh, concur. I was the biggest Jeff Bezos fan. I used to study the man. I used to study his business practices. As a matter of fact, I modeled a lot of my early e-commerce websites. In the mid 90s, I, I was doing e-commerce. I was doing a dreamcandle.com was e-commerce. I had to get a merchant account. I had to, there was no Shopify. I mean, I had my own drop shipping facility. <laughs> like I actually bought candles and I packaged them. Then I got someone to package them, mailboxes, etc. I paid a group of people to package them. And then when I got orders, it would go to them. They would ship them. So I kind of, I did everything you see today, but like I coded everything. Long story short, dreamcandle.com i should probably like actually you know what it'd be really cool to get a uh, uh the the image for the post production that's what i'll do so here's a screenshot of dreamcandle.com now if you're watching this live nothing showed up but if you're watching the the replay <laughs> i'm going to try to figure out how to integrate the video up there not the video the screenshot of dreamcandle.com it was an exact replica of amazon.com and it worked extremely well. Here's my point. Five minutes of ramble because I'm a little excited. I'm actually very excited. 
I had this magazine. It kind of had a yellow or green cover. It's just Jeff Bezos's face. In 99, he, he made the cover of Wired magazine. Well, it's just a huge, huge deal. So he was well known, but in my world of entrepreneur friends, I didn't, yeah, we, I, was, I was surrounded by entrepreneur friends, actually, believe it or not. Some of the smartest people I knew, um, I don't say any names, but like Nick, Nick, hey, what's up, Nick? I won't say your last name. One of the smartest, pro, my brother, hey, what's up, Al? Whoever's seeing this, you guys know. As a matter of fact, Nick, probably, Nick would probably be the brightest, most talented programmer uh, that I personally know. He used to do homework assignments for us and we used to pay him money. Shh. Yeah, he was a computer genius. So my point is, well, my point, there's no real point. I'm just rambling. I had this issue of Jeff Bezos. Apparently it's in here. I'm going to talk about this. We're going to unbox it. And everywhere I brought it with me, whenever I brought it with me, it was my, it was my lucky rabbit's foot. Everything worked out well until I lost it. Then I it just, I'm not superstitious, but it was one of those things. And I remember even Nick, when Nick saw, I go, Nick, I go, look, it's Jeff Bezos on the cover of Wired Magazine. He's like, who? That bald, that bald guy? Who is he? He's not, <laughs> this is funny because this really happened. He said, he goes, how's that going to impact my life? He's not going to make any difference in my life. I couldn't care less about him. What's funny about that is he's actually making a difference in everybody's life right now. Enough about that, but it's funny because the choice of words and I just kept studying him and studying him the whole way through. Now he's, I, he, may, he may be the richest man in the world. I think he is. So I was going around the internet and I was going through some struggles and it just crossed my mind. I go, too bad I don't have that Bezos issue. I did lose the issue. As a matter of fact, there was a point where I used to take pages out of it and leave them in certain places for good luck. For real. Like I used to work at Esplanade Laurier, a little story. And we're going to unbox this thing, this bad boy. And this is going to be fun to look at uh, in the future. Look at that 7-Eleven. That's my angel number. It just hit right now. This is, this is going to, this is, this is what I needed. Call me weird. It's okay. I used to tear out pages and put them in different offices because I used to work in multiple offices. And at Esplanade Laurier, which is like at the Twin Towers down in Ottawa there. They're not, they're two big white marble towers. Uh, Metcalf and, Metcalf and Kent, right? No, Metcalf and Laurier. Why am I confused about that? That's when I worked as a consultant. I was on the 10th floor or something. You guys tuning in are probably like, whoa, whoa, who cares? But I remember just taking the cover of this magazine because my brother used to work at EDC across the street. And when we'd meet for coffee, he used to say, well, where are you? Which, which floor? Well, my office is around there somewhere. It's like in the high profile area where all the SQL Server developers are, the SQL developers, and we can never see it from the street. So I took off the cover of the page and I stuck it on my window with Bezos face sticking out. So when I was on the street, and I'd go to lunch with coworkers. I go, oh, there's my office up there. And they could look up and they'd see Jeff Bezos' face. All that to say is that he was, he's been one of my mentors for a very long time. And I've been going through some struggles in business big time. I'm not going to get into them now. I'm, I'm doing well financially. But if I'm not growing at a rapid pace, I'm failing. <laughs> I, need, I, I, I need to grow. And when I'm stuck... I know there'll be a breakthrough. I, I know there is a breakthrough that's happening now, but maybe it has to do with me finding this. I just looked at, I just looked for it online. I go, old oh, Jeff Bezos on Wired Magazine. And sure enough, Etsy, someone had a, a, the, a, the original. I don't really care about the condition of it. I just want the magazine back. I lost it along my journeys when I lost everything. Like my, uh, when I lost my way. And I found it online. It wasn't cheap. It was like 60 bucks because it's the original one. It's the, it's, the, it's the magazine. So, who wants to see it? My good luck charm is back. 
I'm going to unbox it right now. That's the story behind it, and I hope you enjoyed it. Probably not. Probably you couldn't care less, but Bezos had an impact on my life for sure, but he more, more the magazine itself. So, shall we? This, is, this ain't going to work, eh? Does anyone need a tooth pulled? I'm excited. Seriously, it's like a kid in a candy store. So, let's go, Mark. A little gift to myself. Watch it be a laser copy print, eh? a scam or something. Doesn't matter. It actually wouldn't matter. I just, I know I'm going to have a reaction. I'm going to have a reaction when I see this. I definitely will. I can, al I can already visualize it. 1999. So we're going back a couple of years. 20 years. Look at this thing. It is well protected. So I'm going to use the desk here. I'm going to guess that it's the real deal. No, the, the buyer contacted me and everything. And we chatted for a while. She was saying how she takes care of all her stuff and... She's, she's sorry to part with this, which is probably a sales pitch. No, because I had already purchased it. She wanted to get it to me in, Jesus. She wanted to get it to me in pristine condition. She used it, that word. Jesus. Pristine is right. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Okay, I'm just, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Just slide it out. Can I slide? I can slide it out. Here we go. Oh my God, guys. I'm not even kidding. I just saw that much. That's the bottom of the magazine. That's how much I would stare at this magazine and said, I want to be like you, sir. I want to be like you, sir. Is the, oh, it, oh, it's in great shape. Let's look at it together. Oh my God, it's in great shape. Oh my God. Oh, it's a pretty, it just drooled. It didn't drool on the magazine. It's an X. Oh my God. Mm. All the feelings are coming back, by the way. There it is. It's in great shape. There it is. You know what's funny, guys? The emotions going through my body now of just holding it, the weight of it. I used to bring it everywhere with me. It's almost like getting a lost, like a childhood teddy bear or something, or a good luck charm. Pretty good shape. No, I mean it's in it's in great shape. It's the original, that's for damn sure. That would be uh, March, nineteen ninety nine. It's amazing because I'm looking at all the uh, the inside story of Amazon.com's boy billionaire. The Pentium 3 lowdown. That was a big deal back then. The Pentium 3 lowdown. It was the biggest thing. Um, MP3 spree. Remember when MP3s were big? This is cool. It's the original. I'm going to feather through this and I'm going to have a... Uh, Let's go to the, 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 I believe, I believe he's in the World Trade Center in this issue. Yeah, he is. He's in the World Trade Center in this issue. I remember that. Well, I remember it because I'm like, what's the World Trade Center? I'm Canadian. Let's go, let's go look at the, his article. I remember all of these pages. I remember all of these pages. I used to sip, th this is really, uh, this is really special right now. You're sharing a moment with me. I just want to find his article. I should know exactly where it is, but I'm going to go in the table of contents. Are you guys enjoying the video? I, I'm, I'm loving this. Perfect, pretty, pretty perfect condition. Hey, I'm not going to be picky at all. I'm really, 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 I want to find this real quick. So then I could cut this off and uh, I just want to work my ass off now. <laughs> this just motivated the crap out of me. 
I remember all of this. I don't know if you remember these ads. Bill Gates is Michael Jordan. Oh my God, look at this. I, just, I remember this like crazy, his little laugh there. I could just hear him in the background. There he is with the gun. Okay, I'm just gonna go to the page. I wanna see if there's the, if he's in the World Trade Center at that time. Because he was in the World Trade Center at that time working from there. 114. God, I feel like buying a bunch of these magazines from back in the day. There's a lot of them that inspired me. Here we are. I'm just being careful with the pages. I'm going to frame this. It's going up in my office after I go through it. Two more pages. You ever get, guys get, ever get close to the page you're looking for? Like two more pages and we're there. There it is. The inner Bezos. Let's read it a little bit. This is back in 1999. Amazon.com's founder figured out how to sell books on the web. Simple, right? So why? So why is he so far ahead of the pack? Just as books, it's pretty well all they were doing back then. Actually, when this came out, it was only books. Amazon.com was a bookstore. That's it. Isn't that wild? Okay, well, there it is. This is it. He's in the World Trade Center here comparing phones. Let's take a look at the phones he was comparing back then. Right here, he's in the World Trade Center. He's at his office in the World Trade Center. 1999. Let's look at the. Uh, he goes, what you got? Oh, they asked. They asked him to empty his pockets. This would be interesting. So what you got? A wallet, some film. A wallet, some film, film, film. Why would he have film? It's a camera film. Were we not beyond that? No. No, we were not beyond that. That's 1999. There were no iPhones. Wow, time flies, eh, guys? Film. He's got Kodak film, like with pictures. I can't, I don't have a good, uh, like 20 years went by so quick, it seems. Like we had none of this stuff that we have today. So, what you got? A wallet, some film. Nokia 6162? Oh my god, I gotta get a shot of this. Nokia 6162? A Canon Elf? So there was a digital camera? Or was that a digital camera? No, it wasn't. It's not. Because he's got, yeah, it is. But he's got film as well. Tool Logic Tool Light Deluxe. Ah! <laughs> it's like one of these. What are the odds? But it's like a credit card size. It looks like that. And then, oh, look at this. This is weird. World, and it goes all put together. World Trade Center Escape Kit. Oh, that's weird. Look. World Trade Center Escape Kit. Ooh. Uh, no comment. Like, this is just, it's very emotional even thinking about the World Trade Center events. I don't want, I don't even want, I don't want, I don't want to visit that. So, because I remember back then, I'm like, World Trade Center, what is that? I'm, I'm, I'm up in Canada, right? And back then I wasn't, uh... so there it is, guys. I have the, my good luck charm. I'm actually going to just uh, say goodbye and I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to grab a cup of tea, get some work done and enjoy it very, 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 very much. Hard to believe a magazine can make me that happy, but it's more than a magazine. It's uh, 20 minutes of this. Wow, beautiful. Guys, thanks for tuning in, and I'm got, I've got all kinds of emotions. Just, I guess I'm going to end it off with this. This magazine brought me to new levels. It did. This magazine, when I had this magazine, I brought it to a job interview where I, uh, 
I got my first $500 per diem back then. It was a big deal back then. 500 bucks a day for me. It, it, was, it was my next step. What was I doing? I was doing SQL Server stuff. Just SQL database stuff. Esplanade Laurier. So, yeah. He, 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 he's been on a lot of uh, good rides with me. And since he's been gone, I've had some down. I don't know. It's, it's all in the mind. Have an awesome night, guys. And uh, thanks for tuning in to my first official uh, YouTube Live. Hey, this is perfect. Jeff and I, we did our first official YouTube Live on the Wealthy Trainer channel. Have a good evening or day or morning whenever you're seeing this, folks. Bye-bye now. Thank you for watching or listening. I hope this content has helped you in any way, maybe motivated, inspired you. Maybe it's triggered an idea. Maybe it's gotten you out of a rut. Maybe it's simply entertained you. Listen, I'm just an ex-computer consultant guy who lost his way to drugs and alcohol and eventually became homeless. From rock bottom, I cleaned up. I clawed my way back into the workforce. I shifted into running my own business. I've been retired from the corporate world for seven years now and I've never looked back. If you want to follow me on my journey or maybe even connect further, you can either go to my blog at thewealthytrainer.com, that's thewealthytrainer.com, or you can click the link in the description if you're watching this video. Mark Lalone signing off and I'll see you on the inside. Bye-bye now.